everybody, we're back. You, of course, know my next guest from Jerry Maguire, Scream 2, and, of course, as the fat kid from Stand By Me. His latest, that will haunt him forever. His latest movie, Body Shots, uh, just opened today. Please welcome Jerry O'Connell. I'm doing real good. Oh. Those, are, those, those are all my cousins back there. Thanks, guys. I'll see, I'll see you at dinner. Uh, you just, uh, I guess you just got back for, from Canada. You were in Canada I was for in six Canada for like six months in Vancouver. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful country. Great. It's, uh, it's a little different, though, than uh, Hollywood. Why? I mean, there's obvious reasons, but, but uh, I mean, just day-to-day -day lifestyle stuff? Well, I mean, you know, you know like, the, uh, the social scene is a little different. It's, uh, well, you're a, I mean, you're a bit of a ladies' man. We yeah, can say that. Well, you I, like you to... know, well I dated, a, uh, I, I dated a, a woman who was uh, a fisherman. She, uh, she would fish all the time and take me out. And, you know, here I am. I'm this kid from the city, and I'm like, oh, my God, the fish is still there. And she's like, would you shut up, you sissy? Grab the hook. There's nothing sexier than a woman tying flies for you and gutting fish. Yes, there is. <laughs> No, it's a Message to Jerry O'Connell. Yes, there is. Well, uh, you guys, I mean, you get into some... You and your brother share an apartment. Yes, my and brother I, Charlie. And, and I, I hear stories about you guys. I heard that you guys were, were dating sisters. Is that right? Yes, we were. You and yeah. your brother were dating sisters. Yeah. That sounds kind of complicated. It was, it was very complicated. I, I broke up with mine, and then, you know, he heard all the complaints from his sister, and now we don't date sisters anymore. We only date cousins now. Okay. No more sisters. Good for you. Nicely done. And was, do you get recognized a lot in Canada? Is this something I, that... I, well, yeah, it happened a lot. The movie I did was called uh, Mission to Mars. It was with uh, uh, Tim Robbins, Gary Sinise. Mm -hmm. uh, Gary Sinise, you know, who was uh, in, uh, in uh, Forrest Gump. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows him. Right. So we, uh, we uh, go to a, uh, we, uh, you know, went to a hockey game, to a Canucks game, and uh, we were there, and people were like, hey, look, look, it's the, uh, it's the fat kid from Stand By Me with Lieutenant Dan, and Lieutenant Dan's got legs. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, everywhere I went, I was going to get peanuts. They were like, hey, you're with the guy with legs, and you're the fat kid from Stand By Me. <laughs> he had legs in the earlier part of that movie. How do they know, not know he really had legs? I thought he, well, he they cut them the off for the movie. <laughs> he gets very much into his roles. Now, you're a, uh, you're a New York City kid. You were yeah. born and raised in the city? Yes. Born and raised in Greenwich Village. Now, it's... Uh, you guys, uh, I mean, because Halloween... I mean, I grew up in a suburb, and, yeah. you know, you got, it's very different, when, I would think, when well, you grow up in the city. In the city. You, have, you know, you have high-rises, as opposed to the suburbs, where you have a house every 50 to 100 yards, depending on the neighborhood. You know, you have, like, 90 floors to travel up. I mean, you just make bank. You've got candy all over the place. All right, I'll hit the even floors, you hit the odd ones, and then we'll hit the next building. It's great. You sound like jewel thieves. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so you like that? Did you, I mean, yeah. and, but also, I mean, Halloween down in the village is a strange well, cultural thing. Well, you know, too. they have the big Halloween parade in Greenwich Village, which is, uh, which is uh, very, it's very homosexual. It's uh, yeah. Not, not, there's anything wrong with that. It's wonderful. Well, they have, a, they have a, they have a, they have a gay parade. It's That's... a gay Halloween parade. So you know, I, you know, I'd be like six, you know, and I'd be watching this thing, and I'd be like, Mommy, what, what? Why does he have a whip, and why is he whipping him? That's a little weird. You know, my mother'd be like, Oh, well, well, here's your costume. I'd be like. Mom, why can't I be Marilyn Monroe today? <laughs> why, I don't want to be Spider-Man this Halloween. <laughs> right, right. Can we go shoe shopping? <laughs> <laughs> so, it, yeah, but Spider-Man, that's what you were when you were a kid? Well, now I wear Spider-Man, now that I, <laughs> you right. know, realize who I really am. Yeah, what's, uh, <laughs> nicely done, by the way. <laughs> what about that? This film, Body Shots. Now, Body this, is, shots. this is a this is a bit of a departure for you. This movie is that fair to say? It's a, yeah. It's a it's a pretty sexy movie. You know, it's a, I I've uh, I have a sex scene in it, Conan. I get I get, I get naked. You don't really get you don't really get naked. Well, you you, you don't get totally naked. You uh, you um, they 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 give you this uh, you know you're naked, but they give you this little like uh, this I'm sorry this big this uh, very big. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? They give you this, like, little change purse that you, th this big change purse that you, like, tie around and it's got a drawstring and it's, it's very embarrassing. I thought I was going to be really aroused. I mean, I was coming to work. I'm like, yes, I am getting paid to get laid. <laughs> and here I am, and I'm, you know, I'm running to you work. Weren't, you weren't, it's not a porno movie. <laughs> no, I know. What did you think you were making? Well, I mean, it was, uh, you know, it was a very sexy, we're in the, we're in bed together. And it's like, you know, it's Monday morning. What better way to make money than that? But right. you, know, you get there and you're like, you're really ready for it. And it's like, 
you totally get scared, man. There are like 50 guys standing around you with cameras and like some mic like looking into you and you're like, um, excuse me, could we have a little bit of privacy, please? Could you please push your camera a little far back? Yeah, I would think once they put the change purse on me, that would kill the mood. Yeah, the big change purse. Let's tighten the that. big change purse. Uh, <laughs> So, and this thing is, this is set in a nightclub, is that right? It's, uh, yeah, a lot of it takes place in a nightclub, which is, uh, which is kind of weird, you know, because, you know, you come to work at the, you know, on a Monday morning, and they're like, uh, okay, well, here's a nightclub scene, we'd like you to uh, go to the bar and do a bunch of shots. It's, uh, you know, it's a little weird when you've been doing that all weekend, and you come to work, you know, and you're like, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, I'm buzzed. I better get into my character. <laughs> it's a very good movie. It got three stars in the Daily News today. I'm very excited. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, man. And uh, and so and so you uh, did you behave yourself while you were making the movie, pretty much for the most part. Yeah, I was on. I, I was a good behavior. You know, I mean, when you do a film where it's you know a bunch of uh, you know a bunch of young people going out and having a good time, you tend to uh, you tend to do a little research in the uh, in the club scene. It was uh, it was it was very nice going to Sky Bar and then you know bringing my receipt from uh, from the weekend saying uh, you know uh, you have to pay this tab because I was doing research all weekend. I want to like to get scene. really drunk you know, and have a good time. <laughs> Nicely done. That's a good way to make a living. Uh, uh, body shots, though, open today, and like mm -hmm. you said, it got a nice, it got a nice write-up yeah. today. So good for you, Jerry. It's always nice to see you. Thanks. Thanks for coming by, Thank Jerry O'Connor. We'll take a break when we come back. Jimmy Blaylock's going to be here, so stick around.